Hello everyone, good morning, welcome back. It's Friday, thank the good Lord. Um, today has been a little crazy, it's only, um, it's 11 now and um, <laughs> I've gotten my kitchen cleaned up, the playroom cleaned up and it doesn't look like I cleaned a thing. Welcome to mom life. So let's see, where shall we start? Let's start with the baby. I was feeding her breakfast, we had a great morning, got up. And she threw up, I mean, projectile vomited her entire breakfast. I mean, it just kept coming out and I just sat there like, you know, at that point where you just can't even do anything. I think naps are in order. And then Paisley had the most massively explosive diaper I have ever seen on a two-year-old. Like, it was just, mm. I don't know. <laughs> like, is it Monday again? somebody playing a joke this isn't funny um, oh my god I hear my toddler she woke up at 5 a.m. again today after like a few nights of going to sleep normally and not getting up and sleeping in till at least like 7 today she woke up at 5 again so I got up we came downstairs she's been up ever since I just laid her down 10 minutes ago and she's I hear her upstairs running around um, I'm just trying to get a workout in I'm just trying to make it through the day honestly I had a whole list of projects I wanted to get done, like my nails, it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna have to go to this promotion ceremony I have to go to this evening with my nails looking like this. Ew, um, oh my God, like, <laughs> I just wanted to like, I envisioned this perfect Friday of children sleeping, like nice long naps and me probably getting to do a, a mask, paint my toes, maybe even like do my own gel polish because I actually have gel but my nails keep breaking I think I need my tips back on I have a love-hate relationship with like acrylic tips and right now I'm just I miss them because I feel like I my hands look like a boy without them but then they just keep breaking so and I just got a set taken off um, like three weeks ago so I think I'm probably gonna get those put back on in the morning but this is already starting off as like the craziest Friday ever so Gosh, made my coffee be strong today. So I wanted to show you guys this. Um, yesterday I was out with my friend and we went to GNC and we picked up, I don't even know how we came across this, but we found this um, protein powder that tastes like cereal. This is legit cinnamon toast crunch. We actually got to sample one that tasted just like um, was it Fruity Pebbles? I think Fruity Pebbles are Lucky Charms. And then they have one that tastes like Captain Crunch. So if you're a cereal lover and you like the bad cereal, I mean bad that it's just bad for you and not good for you, this um, Performix is supposedly like wonderful. Um, they have a promotion going on right now. Buy two, get a third bag for free. So we're gonna split that third bag but um, they're about $33 uh, for this bag of protein, and there's 25 grams of protein in it, and I can't wait to try this. I have not, they would not let us sample the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, I guess that's one that they just won't let people sample. Maybe that's just really popular. Everyone loves Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I mean, I know I do. Um, also, if you really love Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you can get an organic, a better for you, healthier version by Cascadian Farms, and it's the Cinnamon Toast. Um, just FYI, but yeah, this is supposed to be really good. So I am going to give this a try after my workout. Um, this morning I've already had um, some oatmeal. I had baked oatmeal, um, which just consisted, um, I just use like these quick oats um, and it just consisted of three cups of oats, two eggs. I used a cup, it calls for a cup of milk, but I used a cup of um, vanilla almond milk just to be healthier and it said like half a cup of sugar but I really didn't want to use the sugar so I used like a little bit less than half a cup of brown sugar um, but next time I'm definitely going to omit those eggs and maybe just use some egg whites and um, maybe just no sugar at all I don't know I brought this bad boy back out I tried this as part of a weight loss diet many many moons ago and um, I didn't really stick with it I did it for like two days because I didn't think it was like really that good but if you want to cut some um, body fat and I mean I'm not sure like the percentage but this works really well 
And another thing I've been doing to lose weight is eating an apple a day. Apples have some magical power in them to help you lose weight. So I just usually have just like a red delicious apple once a day. And then yesterday was the first day. Yesterday was Thursday, September the 21st, the first day of fall. Um, I had a little shot of this yesterday. Well, not really a shot. I just kind of mixed in like three tablespoons with like eight ounces of water. But today I think I'm just gonna shoot this straight um, before my workout and um, hope for the best. I'm just gonna try this out. I mean, I don't really know how to test this to really determine the accuracy of weight loss um, by drinking apple cider vinegar, but I mean, people swear by it, Dr. Oz swears by it, so. I mean, we'll see. I'm pretty sure I just poured like a whole, this is not a shot glass, by the way, this is just an OXO tot little baby Tupperware that I'm just gonna use for this purpose, kind of like a shot glass, but um, I don't know, Maybe I just free poured this and it's a lot. I mean, this is definitely more than three tablespoons, but um, I'm just gonna do this and we'll see. <laughs> oh my god, I can't breathe. What was I thinking? <coughs> Oh God, it's horrible. Oh, you guys, I had to just come sit on the couch. Like my entire esophagus is burning right now and stomach lining from that shot of apple cider vinegar. Um, generally, you're supposed to take it before you eat in the morning. I already ate my baked oatmeal. Um, by the way, I forgot to tell you those, the baked oatmeal I made the other day was overnight. So you just um, mix all of those ingredients that I mentioned earlier and you put them in a baking dish or a pie plate and then you just cover them and let those soak overnight. So they're overnight oats and then you just bake on 350 for 30 minutes in the morning. Um, but yeah, I had, I already had that and I, I thought about it but I completely forgot to do the apple cider vinegar. So I figured I would do it before I worked out, but like my stomach is burning right now. Like not horribly, but it's churning. Um, yesterday when I did my morning workout and I did my little apple cider, apple cider vinegar mixture with water, I was on the elliptical and I was like, had to concentrate hard not to, to throw up. So I'm just gonna take a breather for a few minutes before I even attempt to work out. Maybe from now on, I'll just do that and then eat. Okay, I do not recommend doing that at all. Like, not that much. That was probably overkill. That's probably why I feel like I'm dying right now. Like, I just, I just chugged water to hopefully um, feel better. And, oh my God, don't ever do that again. <laughs> Unless you went like, I have this horrible aftertaste. It's very, um, it tastes like alkaline or, I don't know, just something, I don't know, like battery acid. It's not even good. Um... So I would definitely recommend only taking the correct dosage that's, I don't even know what's prescribed, it's not really prescribed, but recommended. I mean, you can, there's no harm in taking like a little shot of this. I mean, clearly you see what it does to you. Um, I couldn't imagine drinking any more than that. Like you can't even breathe for like 40 minutes. Um, but maybe I'll just try to just keep it mixed with eight ounces of water and then just drink the water because that was a lot more tolerable and then definitely eat right after that because you're supposed to take it before your meal and then eat and this is probably why so your stomach isn't like not burning off um but i don't know god i still can't get i'm trying to get it together you guys um i'm trying to think about what i'm gonna eat today i'm just gonna keep it very light because i have weigh-in tomorrow morning and tomorrow's kind of like my free day so because it's after weigh in and it's you know been a, a long week and um we're actually going to my friend's daughter's birthday party tomorrow it's a moana themed so it's hawaiian themed so i'm sure there's gonna be like hawaiian pizza which i've really been looking forward to and um yeah so i'm definitely gonna have a slice of that um but today i'm just trying to think of what I want to eat. I can't go anywhere right now because I'm bound to my house, um, 
both babies are now down for a nap. It's 11.30. I would like to go to Clean Eats um, and maybe get a meal, but um, I don't know if it's going to happen because this promotion ceremony is at 5 o'clock, and it's um, held on a, at a lodge on a lake, and they have really, really good food. It's like a buffet of food. Um, hopefully, I can have some healthy options there today, but um, I don't know how much how much foodie Friday you're gonna get from me today. Um, like I said, I had the baked oatmeal, but then I'm gonna have that protein shake after my workout. I'm really trying to talk myself to get off this couch and work out. I need to do it now, cause I just, I need to go take a nice long hot shower. I need to flat iron my hair and like get my face together, pick out something nice to wear, and I have to go get a card and probably a gift card and um, yeah, there's already a lot to do today. Oh, and get the kids dressed, and it's 11.30, and all this needs to happen by like 4.30, so I can be on time for that promotion ceremony, because nothing drives me battier than being tardy. I, I can't stand to be late. I just feel like I have failed at life if I'm late, so I need to get on the ball. Okay, okay so I just finished my workout, and I'm actually doing this correctly. It says... To, for best results to take this um, shake within 30 minutes after working out and I just finished like five minutes ago. Um, it smells really good so um, this is the cinnamon toast protein shake. You can see little marshmallows. There's a little marshmallows in there. Um, healthy marshmallows, probably protein marshmallows. Um, so I'm gonna mix one scoop of this uh, delicious cinnamon toast with eight ounces in my um, fancy blender bottle here and um, that'll be my shake. Or I guess it'll be my meal. It'll probably just be my lunch. Mmm, definitely smells like cinnamon toast crunch. Oh yeah, that's very cinnamony. Yeah, that's really good. Not bad. This is like the first protein shake that I've ever had um, in powder form that I've actually liked. Most protein shakes, I just I cannot stand the taste or the texture. It's always like chalky and just really gross. Um, so I never ever buy it in powder form. I always just buy it already pre-made and like um, like my um, premier protein shakes that I get um, that come in like a four pack the caramel ones that I like to add to my coffee um, Normally, I just drink those but this is really good. Um, yeah, I could definitely get behind this. I'm This is really good. Um, it's time released. So it's supposed to keep me full so right now it is 12 19 and um, So we'll see I'm gonna drink this probably within 10 minutes and um, we'll see how long it keeps me full Although I'd rather be at Texas Roadhouse with my friend Jojo and Brandy. They're there right now. If you guys are watching this, I miss you guys. I so want to be there eating the deliciousness with you, but instead I'm having this and the babies are upstairs napping. So enjoy a nice steak for me. Um, so I guess I'll enjoy this and we'll see how long this lasts. I hope at least three hours and then maybe at like three o'clock I can have a little snack. Okay, so I just really want to see where I am in terms of like weight and everything today just so I have an idea this is um, the Fitbit Aria scale and it actually is synced to my Fitbit charge so all of the information it knows me it knows everything about me like my BMI and like everything I'm doing so the two um, the two devices sync with one another and so um, yeah which is awesome so I'm hoping when I step on here I'm gonna see a good number because if you remember from one of my previous videos, um, when I talked about my weight loss, I think I was like 153.3 or something like that. So, or I'm sorry, 163. I wish I was 153. Um, 163.3. And so here we are like almost a week later. So like five days later. Okay, so let's just take a deep breath. I'm 159.6 and so I guess that at 35.9 is that my BMI? Oh my gosh. Um, it's definitely overweight by <laughs> the standards or standards of my height. It's 220 right now and I'm actually a little bit hungry. I'm not starving but I'm 
a little hungry, so I'm gonna have this little um, lunch slash snack. Um, I'm gonna have two of these unsalted organic gluten-free rice cakes, um, and then I'm probably gonna have that with um, about two tablespoons of almond butter, and then eight carrots and an apple. This looks tasty. Okay, you guys, I just had like the craziest last hour and a half of my life. So my baby decided she was going to gag herself because she's teething and projectile vomited all over herself in the high chair um, as I was supposed to be finishing up feeding her and getting her dressed so we could leave. And not once, but the second time today, she did this this morning. And then, gosh, so I cleaned that up and then I had to go upstairs to wake Paisley up um, so I could get her dressed, give her her lunch, we could get out the door. Sorry guys, we had a, uh, a cop. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, I go to get Paisley up so I could give her lunch and she, first of all, she climbed out of her crib and I mean, she was running around for the longest time and then um, I guess she fell asleep in her little window nook um, behind the rocking chair. And so I went to pick her up and I was like, man, my arm's wet, but it smells funky in here. And there is poop all down her leg, not even kidding. And I'm supposed to be leaving at four o'clock and this is all at like 3.30. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't even deal with today. Friday is just madness. So I had to quickly throw her in the tub. I didn't even, I wasn't even planning to wear what I have on. I had an outfit planned out, but I just had to throw stuff on because I had to bathe everybody, get everybody dressed. And I still had to go to the store to get a card and um, a gift card. So, um, yeah, so we are a little, running a little bit late today, but that is okay. <laughs> Gosh. Um, I'm a little hungry now. I think after that whole fiasco and the madness, I just am now starving and I don't even, <laughs> I, I'm going to try not to blow my diet um, because of this moment right here. I'm going to just hopefully maintain, um, but I know that there is a bar here and I'm definitely, definitely in need of a cocktail. So I don't know if I'm going to, you know, have the proper cocktail that I probably should have with the lowest calories. I kind of kind of am feeling like a scotch on, her, on the rocks today. Okay, so we're here and it's not in the dinner area like I thought. It's like in this little bar area of the lodge, but we just have some buffalo wings, which are not that healthy, and some meatballs. I'm only going to have like a bite of each and some spinach and artichoke dip. We've got some shrimp cocktail and some fruit, and I have a glass of wine. Okay, so the um, promotion ceremony actually just ended up being a small reception. It was not the, you know, large to do dinner, which I thought it was gonna be because um, I was kind of told that's what it would be so um, it wasn't so it was pretty simple pretty low-key I only stayed for a short while and I know I ordered a glass of wine but I only really took like two sips um, so I mean I just had a little bit of shrimp cocktail like a couple of small um, couple of those small meatballs and um, just a few pieces of fruit and that was really it we mingled and um, said our congratulations and went home so now I'm just making a little dinner. I'm just making um, some grilled chicken strips. They were already pre-made. And I just added the tiniest bit of this little spicy barbecue sauce. And I think I might put that in um, a little tortilla. It's a very, very low carb tortilla. Um, I think it's like a whole grain tortilla. And uh, maybe just a small sprinkling of mozzarella just for like a little Southwest um, type of um, wrap smells amazing so I bought this uh, when I went to Lidl the other night and I did a huge grocery haul and I found a package of um, pre-made grilled chicken it was already grilled and cut up into strips and so these are great because um, you can actually make little healthy fajitas um, just anything and it's quick and easy so when I am hungry it is my go-to and I got some fresh um, butternut squash acorn squash pineapple sweet potato which I am definitely gonna cut this weekend okay so this is the wonderful tortilla that I was telling you about um, the name of it is tomorrow's and um, it's low in carb and it's just kind of like a wrap so this one is with chia I also have like plain white ones um, that we like to make tacos with okay so here's the finished product um, this is just my dinner this is um, three ounces of the grilled chicken breast strips with just a tad of mozzarella and one of the tomorrow's um, tortilla wraps with chia 
and a side of green beans. And Paisley is having her Purdue whole grain chicken nuggets with grapes. Her favorite is grapes. So um, hopefully she will eat this dinner. For dinner, Avery's going to have some chicken and rice and some um, pumpkin cranberry apple. She really, really loves both of these actually. So um, this is her first day of fall meal. Um, Yay, and we're so excited for fall. And I think I actually, at the grocery store, I actually ended up picking up some Halo Top ice cream, which is a Weight Watchers goer's dream. My friend Jojo told me about this. This stuff is amazing. Like half a cup is worth like two points with this mint chip. It's so good. And then I also picked up this birthday cake. So I cannot wait. I, actually, I think I'm going to try the birthday cake tonight. Maybe just a little bit. Just a little reward. It's Friday night after all. I'm exhausted. We've had a very busy day. A very good day, but a very busy day. Paisley, you're so cute. Where are you going? You have your little Ralph Lauren dress on. You're so pretty. And what are you doing? Did you have a good dinner? Yes. <laughs> We're getting a little sleepy. You're all so tired. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you like this video. If you did like it, please. Oh, no. Please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.